Intel report uncovers former Obama official who funneled dossier leaks to CNN by Amy Moreno for TruthFeedNews.com. Well, 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 it looks like Obama's former director of national security may have been a stooge for CNN. Turns out James Clapper was in close contact with CNN right around the time that the dossier was released. The findings come upon the release of a House Intel report, which further proves the deep state's coordinated effort to take down President Trump. From Daily Wire, details from the newly released memos written by former FBI Director James Comey suggest that CNN prompted Comey's briefing of Donald Trump on the Democrat-funded Steele dossier that the network then used as an rational, a uh, rationale, I should say, to report on some of the unverified and salacious allegations in the document, according to multiple reports, including a report by House Intelligence Committee former Director of National Intelligence, uh, Director of National Intelligence James Clapper, who is now employed by CNN, may have been in contact with his future employer during the time Details of the briefing were leaked to the network. As the Daily Caller's Chuck Ross highlights, evidence suggests that Clapper was central to CNN's initial report on the salacious Democrat-funded dossier. The leaker of the Comey briefing to Trump has not been identified, though only a small number of government officials would have been aware of the meeting of what Comey told Trump, Ross reports. Joining Comey were James Clapper, John Brennan, and Administrator uh, Mike Rogers, the director of the Office of National Intelligence, the CIA, and the National Security Agency, respectively. A report by the House Permanent Select Committee notes that Clapper provided inconsistent testimony to the committee about his contacts with the media, in particular CNN. I can't wait for this guy to be, uh, you know, taken in, this Clapper guy, with Brennan, former director of the National Intelligence, James Clapper, now a CNN national security analyst, provided inconsistent testimony to the committee about his contacts with the media, including CNN. After information about the dossier briefing was leaked to CNN, the network published a bombshell report that triggered BuzzFeed to publish within minutes the entirety of the unverified 35-page dossier. In August of 2017, CNN hired Clapper as their national security analyst. Among other eyebrow-raising moments, not uh, longer after being hired, Clapper attempted to defend the still unverified dossier by arguing that it doesn't matter that Democrats funded it. How convenient, doesn't matter, no. As described in a detail in detail by the Federalist Molly Hemingway, evidence from Comey's memos indicate that media pressure, specifically from CNN, was the reason he decided to brief Trump, uh, Trump on the unverified dossier, the source of which he has recently uh, admitted he didn't reveal to Trump in the briefing. Comey mentions in multiple memos that CNN wanted a new hook to report the salacious allegations. When he was told that they were going to run with the story, he decided to brief Trump. Comey wrote about his January 6, 2017 briefing on the dossier that he told Trump he wasn't saying that this was true, only that I wanted him to know both that it had been reported and that the reports were in many hands. However, no media outlets had in fact reported on the allegations yet. I said media like CNN had them and were looking for a new hook, Comey wrote in a follow-up meeting on, you know, he just wanted to protect President Trump. You can be sure about that. That's why, you know. Uh, 
in a follow-up meeting on January 28, 2017, uh, Comey again cited CNN as the reason he felt the need to inform him about the allegations. I explained again why I had thought it important that he know about it, Comey wrote. I also explained that one of the reasons we told him was that the media, CNN in particular, was telling us that they were about to run with it. Uh, this was a direct threat in a, in a, in a, in a side, sideways sort of way. He was like telling Trump, either you play along with, uh, with us uh, or the CNN. You know how fast they could have killed that story if they wanted? If, uh, if Trump had, uh, you know, f uh, like agreed to their shenanigans. But he did it in a roundabout way to Trump. So you get what I'm saying. There's no way... Uh, that uh, this was all ready to go. And Clapper, he did testify that uh, all these things, uh, that he didn't have the contact with the media and this and that. But listen, uh, these, these people uh, are, are very uh, underhanded in the way they deal with things. And I just can't wait uh, for them to be prosecuted because Brennan and Clapper are unbelievable. Uh, Comey is actually small fries in comparison to Clapper and Brennan. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.